The first sign that something had gone horribly wrong, Virgin Galactic reports an in-flight anomaly in its test flight of Spaceship Two, a craft being prepared to eventually ferry up to six passengers at a time into suborbital space, where they can experience several minutes of zero gravity. On Friday, Spaceship Two crashed to the ground in the Mojave Desert. The 60-foot-long spacecraft, made of all composite materials, exploded. One of its two test pilots died in the accident, the other injured. The maiden commercial voyage for the craft was, if all had gone well on this and upcoming trial runs, just months away. Virgin Galactic's founder, Richard Branson, was planning to be aboard one of the first voyages himself. In, um, in about March, we'll go up from New Mexico, and I plan to go up with my son. The cause of the disaster is still under investigation, but here's how Spaceship Two is supposed to work. A carrier plane takes it up about 10 miles above the Earth and then releases it. Next, the spaceship descends briefly, flying like a conventional plane. Then, to reach suborbital space, a rocket ignites, propelling the craft vertically. And in just seconds, the ship is traveling at nearly four times the speed of sound. That's the velocity needed to reach suborbital space, which is around 60 miles above the Earth's surface. By comparison, the cruising altitude for most commercial airplanes is less than eight miles. When the engines on the spaceship shut off, passengers experience weightlessness for several minutes as a ship falls back to Earth. Gravity re-exerts itself upon the passengers once the craft reaches the Earth's atmosphere. Mr. Branson's program was already years behind schedule, missing his earlier prediction that passenger flights would begin in 2007. Last month, Mr. Branson offered a new estimate. And, uh, hopefully this time I'm, uh, I get it right. Um, I'm a great believer in Father Christmas, and, uh, and I expect that Virgin Galactic will be into space before Christmas. Also before this disaster, Virgin Galactic's hope was to transport as many as 50,000 passengers to space and back over the next 10 years. That timetable now appears uncertain.